Hello, it's a great honor to have you in this channel. Welcome to this tutorial where we are going to be learning about how to use Guesty for hosts. Guesty for hosts helps you run your rental business like a professional host and it is easy to use and they also have a mobile app that make it fast and simple for you to manage your short-term rentals across all major booking channels. With Guesty for Hosts, you are able to manage all listings in one calendar. You can also automate guest communication like a professional. And then you can also easily coordinate team tasks within your team. And of course, once you provide such nice services, you are able to earn a five-star review, which basically makes you have more sales. In addition to that, Guesty for Hosts helps you create a branded direct booking website so that your potential clients are able to make bookings in a very, very professional way. So I'll be leaving a link in the description of this video that is guestyforhosts.com and you'll be able to register and get to this site. To get started, you simply get to hosts.guesty.com. Uh, then you click on get started here. And then it will bring you to this site. And in this case, now you are going to select what best describes you. For instance, I manage three listings or less, or I manage four listings or more. So you'll click on the one that best describes you. In this case, I select the first one. And then it will bring you to this registration site for guest for hosts, where you are going to create your account. By creating your account, you will need your email. And then after you insert the email here, you will click on next and then you're going to complete these other steps which basically require you to put your password and then to verify your email because they're going to be sending a link to your email and then confirm that email. Once you confirm all that, it will bring you to the Guesty for Hosts page. So now how do we use this Guesty for Hosts? Under Timeline, You'll be able to use this timeline to track your daily check-ins and check-outs. Uh, your reservations will also appear here after you complete the two steps. Here, down here, you can connect your Airbnb account down here. So you connect your Airbnb account and then you import your listing from Airbnb. And then now in your timeline, that is where, where, that is where your daily activity will come in. And here you'll be able to track all that. So once you link that, then you come to the calendar. On the calendar, you'll be able to view availability information, daily rates, and your reservations from each channel. So you notice like on the sample attached here, you may notice we have a blue bar here, another blue bar here, another blue bar here. So once you connect your Airbnb and people have made bookings, your calendar will appear like this, where you'll be able to see your check-in, who has checked in, who has checked out, who has booked and then this one will be used for all your channels and so make it so easy for you to manage all your channels in one place so it's something worth trying uh, under cleaning you'll be able now to set your cleaning and the best thing with guesty for host currently is that they also have watch tutorial here where you can watch a tutorial on how to do all this which i believe it's a great thing, especially for those learning. But then this tutorial is here to help you learn that, so don't worry. So for the cleaning, you're able to do cleaning reminders where you can send reminders to your team. You're also able to view cleaning reports where you can see upcoming and past cleaning tasks. And this is very good in terms of review on how much you have been doing the cleaning and all that. And then we have the cleaner and teammate portal where you can add teammates and overview and overview their tasks. Then you can also create a checklist under cleaning where you can have a step-by-step -step instructions for the task. Maybe you need a room to be fumigated and then you need that to be clean and then you need that to be polished, you need to be arranged. You are able to create a checklist with guesty for hosts. Next, you can also create a one-time task and you can assign that one-time task to your teammates, either an individual or even a whole team. And finally, you are also able to find cleaners in Talno. And Talno is the smart way to find, schedule, and pay vacation rental cleaners. 
So let's just use one of these ones and I show you how to do that. So for the cleaning reminders, I'll just click on cleaning reminders and then you can create a task reminder and give notice to your teammates with necessary information with necessary information like checklist, like we have said, or reservation details, maybe someone has reserved and then you need that room cleaned and all that. So you click on here, create one, and then you are going to add a task here or the check in. Then you select one, either cleaning or check in. So if it's cleaning, I want a task about cleaning, I'll click on cleaning and then I select a trigger for the automation rule and then I can select when the, to send the daily message. Is it a new reservation? Is it a check-in or is it a check out? So I'll assume it's a new reservation. So I'll click on new reservation and then I can choose the timing of my automation rule according to a new reservation. Maybe in this case, I want it on the day of new reservation. I'll click that. If I don't want it on the day of new reservation, I just uncheck that. So I'll click on continue. So that now it takes me to the listing. And currently I have not linked any Airbnb to this account. And if I want to connect it at this point, I can click on connect. And with messaging as in guesty for hosts, you are able to get the unified inbox where all inboxes are just sent in one place from all your connections. So if you click on this one, you notice that we currently don't have any message here and you get your messages here from Airbnb, from booking.com, from VRBO inboxes, all in one place. So that is how you get the messaging, the unified inbox here. You get the messages from all those places, Airbnb, booking.com, VRBO inboxes, and all that. That's how this messaging helps you. Then for automated messages, you are able to schedule messages and you start automating your repeating messages. You can also do weekly reminder messages where you can set reminders based on a day of the week. And then you can also do messaging activity where you can view or control past and future messages. So if I want to schedule messages, I'll click on that, schedule messages. You notice currently we don't have any messages. And then down here, we can now click on schedule message. And then we can now decide on the type of message. Is it a platform message, an email or an SMS. So maybe I want to do an email. I'll click on email and then I'll do the schedule. Is it on check-in, check-out or what it is? Maybe it's a check-in, but remember we have not added any account here. So we may not be able to do all this. And then we can just select timing here. Is it before check-in? Is it on the day of the guest check-in? That's the time we send the message or is it after the guest check-in? Now, we can create several messages here. For instance, we can choose an automation message before the guests check in to tell them we are happy to be hosting them and we look forward to having them. Then we can create a message on the day of the guest check in such that once a guest checks in, they also get the message, welcome, we hope you are enjoying. In case of anything, please let us know and we'd be glad to help. You know, we can do such a message. Then after the guest check in, so on the day of the guest check-in, maybe we just send another message to the guests. We look forward to having you today. Your time to check in is this. If we have allocated them a room, this will be a room and it's ready for occupation and all that. And any message that we feel could make us look so professional in what we do. So I can click on any of those ones. Then I can do them independently because you notice I cannot select all of them at once. So I can do three, one for before, one for on the day of guest check-in and one after the guest check-in. Then after do that, I select OK and then I can select the days. So before check-in, I can select the number of days. Is it one day before, two days before and all that. Maybe I'll put it at two days and then I click on continue and then I can go to listing. Currently, I have not added any listing to my account. So in that case, if I click on connect to Airbnb, I'll be able to connect my Airbnb account where this guest will be living. Then I'll do the template message and then I'll get the summary. So that's how you use the messaging part for the automated messages. Next, I can manage my messages, templates and customs. So instead of having to draft a message every time, I can simply create a new template or I can view templates and edit them or I can use custom tags, which include dynamic data into my templates. So if I view on templates, 
you notice we have this template here welcome one week before and then we have welcome after reservation so if i click on this one you notice how the template looks here it is dear then your first name dear then the first name of the guest and then your trip on then we give them the date is closer and i hope you're excited like i am can you please click in the link below the link below and fill out the form regarding your arrival information so i can organize your check-in and all that so you notice we already have a template that we can send to our client a day or two days before they arrive and then currently they have a new thing they introduced which is damage protection which is new for guesty for hosts and with this you are able to transform risk into opportunity so that you get full protection zero friction and seamless integration with guesty for host it helps you to transform risk into opportunity with damage protection you are able to boost your revenue uh, by making upland cost as an additional fee for guests and which can increase conversion of prospects by eliminating security deposits and then you can also reduce friction and uh, this possible friction and uh, poor reviews of course avoid he will help you avoid chasing down guests to repay for damages that they have done and with damage protection you also lower the risks now there's a lot more that you can do with the menu here as we said in the beginning, you can do the website building, you can uh, get your income reports, you can track your expenses, you can also get your statistics. In this case, we don't have any statistics in this channel, but once you click on this one, you'll be able to get all your statistics. And as you can see, there's a lot more that you can do to your guestee for hosts so that you are able to run your business as a professional. I hope this has been helpful to you. And uh, with that, you are able to use your guestee for hosts so that you can run your rental business like a professional. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.